Today, we will be talking about Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. First of all, let's see who Charles Darwin is. Charles Darwin, born on February 12, 1809 in England, has made a tremendous impact on our understanding of evolution. After a five-year voyage on the Beagle, his numerous observations and discoveries led to a revolutionary theory about the way life changed. And now we have two speakers from the Hopkins News. The Hopkins News. Darwin and Wallace's Rendezvous. <laughs> on Saturday, June 30, 1860, a debate about Charles Darwin's and Alfred Wallace's theory of natural selection took place at the Oxford University Museum. There were two perspectives to this theory. Charles Darwin, Thomas Huxley, and Joseph Hooker believed in the existence of natural selection while the Lord Bishop of Oxford, Samuel Wilberforce, and Robert Fitzroy, the captain of the HMS Beagle, opposed Darwin's theory. Darwin's theory of natural selection states that there are changes within the inherited traits of organisms which affect the population. Natural selection happens over a great long period of time. An experiment which Darwin used to support his theory Natural selection also takes place without humans controlling it. Referring above, the changes of work over population increases the species fitness in its environment. By Sarah Huang, Monica Sal, and Dong Minho in 9F Biology class. Thank you for listening.